This chapter outlines all the equipment needed to make and use the natural hair dye. Let's start with the items needed to prepare the color. Now first you'll need a kitchen scale to ensure that you can weigh the pigments and grams. Next you'll need a glass bowl to put the powders in. Do not choose a plastic or wooden bowl as these absorb the colors. Plus a, a glass bowl is easier to clean. Next, a water cooker or a kettle is necessary to heat the water to 100 degrees. Lastly, a whisk is needed to blend the powders together and mix the powder with the water. Now we can take a look at the tools needed to apply the dye. The first thing, of course, is a brush. We recommend a large brush with short, thick hairs. This is because the plant dye is very thick and solid. The hairs of a regular brush would bend as a result of the weight. This brush will not. Moreover, a large brush will ensure a quick working process as a large quantity of the plant dye is needed to be applied at once. Therefore, the big brush simplifies the process. If the processing time lasts at least 30 minutes or an intense reflect is desired, you'll need cotton and cellophane once all the dye is applied. The cotton is used to prevent the dye from dripping. So start with the cotton around the neck, follow it up the ears, and finish at the front. Once the cotton is applied, use the cellophane in the same way. We recommend using a large roll of cellophane, which has not been cut, as it's easier to apply. Now we use cellophane to keep the dye warm and humid. If the dye happens to dry out, the pigments will not affix correctly to the hair, and it will be very painful to wash out. Of course, all the classic items are also needed. Gloves, an apron, a cape, and towels. 